Hey, it's what's up the game, and this is Dragons and Elves, and I'm about to start the Morning Sanctuary event. So we'll have a quick look and see which um, rewards we're going to get. So we have the Dew Elf Egg, we have a Forest Elf Sanctuary Level 2, we have a Dew Elf Egg again, and then I think that's the nest of those Dew Elf Eggs, and we have the Fawn Elf Egg. And we have another of those sanctuaries, and we have a nest of the fawn elves for the sanctuary, and then we have a middle order fawn elf level 3 trophy, and we have a dew elf level 3. So the fawn elf is a very rare elf. Um, I'm sure you only get it in this event, and it's only like the second. Uh, Alf. Right, so let's go, let's go check this out. Okay, let's take a quick look and see what our quests... Oh, look, let's have a look at the map first. Let's have a look. Here we go. There's that map that we have to heal. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the quests that we've got. Murder by the Benefit, 125 times. Harvest from Withered Plants, 65 times. And Heal the Land, 45 squares. Okay, let's have a look and see what we've got as the quest rewards. Okay, we have a Forest Elf Sanctuary Level 3. We have some of those Star Elf Eggs. And we also have the Gemini. So, and at the moment, we haven't done any of them. So, let's go. Let's go and have. Let's go and start. Let's see what we've got. Okay. So, what are these? These are our point items. So, as you can see, don't have the level ten. I might try and get the level ten this time. But we do have a few of those. We have the forest elf egg that's our elf that we're going to start with. So we quick look around the map. There's our, one of the first KPs that we have to open. Which I believe is one of the fruit. One of those forest vibrant fruits there. Oh, there we have an egg. To watch a video for as it's petrified. Let's have a look at what we've got over this side. Oh, that is definitely the Elf Sanctuary Level 3, as you can see by the quest. So, we need to get an Elf Sanctuary Level 3 there for that cloud key. We have some more of those fruit, probably the Loganberry, I think. Oh, that's a massive cloud key there. And I believe that item should be on the map. Let's zoom out a little bit. We'll go and have a look. It's probably near the top there it is. There's the item. I think that's one of the constellation items that we've got here. But that's 20,000. That's... 40,000 to heal that item so and as you can see there's one of the level threes which is 10,000 to heal so some of the squares are higher than the 5,000 let's check the of now all 20,000 to heal that bush and there we have a level five and that's 20,000 to heal as well a level five those sanctuaries so, and there's a gold leaf there, which is 10,000 to heal. And a star, which is 20,000 to heal. So we do have a lot. There's a lot to heal on this map. Because a lot of those squares are actually above the standard 5,000. So, 
most probably we're going to need quite a few of those level 9 orbs. Alright, let's go back down here. What have we got over here? We have another little island over here. That I think is a mulberry. That we need to open that. So, and I believe there's other cloud keys behind there as well. Okay, let's go down here. This is, I think, one of the little small bushes that we have to open. Oh, we have a petrified egg out there. That's a Jew elf egg. So, I'll be watching a video to uh, free that one up. Okay, that is the log from those puzzle items. So, I believe once we open this one, we. No? Where is it? This. Soon back out again. There it is. That's what I was looking for. Over here, it's one of those le bushes levels. Might be a level 5. And I believe there's more cloud keys within that area as well. As it looks very similar to what we very similar to what we had last time. So it doesn't look like there's a lot changed, but maybe the added points for the squares. And so there's quite a few of those level twos sitting around on the board there. There's one there. Another level two down here. Right, okay, so it looks like the first one. There's two elf eggs there, and there's another one over there. I'm not sure whether that's the same elf, but I would go and try and avoid the level two. These lovely little items here. They will distract your elves, especially if you want to call, you want to do what we call passive harvesting, which is you can leave your game and your elves will just harvest for orbs. But the only way they can do that is if all you have on your map to harvest is a life flower. So, you have to make sure that's all we have on the map. Let's have a look what else. Is it me? Am I going around the bend? I can't see many of those I may not open the cloud keys on this one to begin with just in case there's some level 2's hiding behind them I might try and get all my orbs try and complete some of those quests and take it that way it's about in these games it's about being having a plan and having a strategy to try and make it as easy and as enjoyable as possible for yourself there's one of those there's a level one of those sanctuaries so I'm quite happy about those just don't get merging them unless of course that's what you want to do unless of course you want to harvest for all the points but there is um one of the quests is to harvest uh, the level five i believe i think it might be a hundred times so you will need those items to harvest. There's one of those cloud keys. As you can see, there's lots of the cloud keys scattered around the map. Another level one there. So we'll, we'll start. Let's start. Okay, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Right, I'm going to first of all, I'm going to make that merge because I want to clear up some of this and I want to move these so I can then get that out. Excellent. Right, let's go for that. There we go. Move that out of the way. Oh, ooh. didn't realise that was there. Uh, hadn't been healed yet. Oh, there we go. Oh, we've got one of these. Didn't say that. There we go. So we have our first life flower there. Let's get some orbs and get some healing underway. And 
And what we'll do is we'll start with some five merges to start that quest. So we have 125. That's not too many. Let's have a look at what we've got here. Oh, we've got a one time off, off, one off offer. So we have a Jew Elf. We have some Jew Elf eggs. We have a level three of those and also going to the event looks like it's one of the vibrant sized events so you, you get um you get some points going straight to your event and for me in sterling that's nine pound forty nine a little bit expensive <coughs> i've never purchased that so as you can see as well, we do have two days and 20 hours in the event, so it is a three day event. The map isn't as big as some of the maps, but as I said with those other items that are near the top that are quite high healing power. And it looks like they're sort of items you can't purge either, so you are actually going to need your orbs to heal that for you. Right, let's get this underway. Let's, let's release an orb. What am I after? One minute, one minute. Let's make sure that I haven't got any of those little sanctuaries. Oh. Oh, that's one of the items that you can harvest and it will vanish. So you get those on the map as well and you can merge them before they vanish. So it's, that, I do like that because you can actually get a higher level rewards. Okay, and we do have, we have some those. As you can see, the I was very distracted by those already. I'm going to let him harvest them once and I'm going to tap them. Believe there's a some on the board we used to heal. Not at the moment. But you can either harvest them or we can uh, we can merge them, it doesn't really matter. Probably get about the same for three leaves. So I'm gonna do some merges on the perimeter and get this started to get some healing underway so we've got some room to actually get some of this these quests going yeah okay. so another one of those leaves we got enough to do a five merge with these oh okay. Mm, yep, yeah, we have. Yeah. A bit more healing power as well. And as you can see, these are our level 2 point items here. So I don't want to collect those, I want to leave those. And I want to keep merging them up till we get the highest level we can get. So, I think we're going to need another orb. So let's. We can harvest that as well to get rid of that distraction. That way, then they're just focused on these life flowers. And mm, not quite. Don't quite match with those. There we go. And which egg is this? This is the Jew Alpha egg. I think I looked at that before. I want to get to the next one over there. So that's the way I'm going to head. Head up there. And I'm going to cheat. And I'm going to launch this here. And watch it not go anywhere near where I wanted it to go. Yeah. Okay. So this is another Jew Alp egg. Awesome. So we now have two of those. As you can see it's brought up a little video. So it says here, that, oh, it used to say that you need to watch the video to open the egg. So, and I'm sure we had another one, but I think that might be 
the fold. So look, if you look at that, so we've got some, oh no, perhaps it's the same one. So we've got to head over there to get our second feet, our second hour foot there. So that's the next way we're going to go. We're going to head up that way to get those. Oh. Right, not doing too bad as you can see. I've done quite a few marriages. Had a quick look at the cloud keys. If you are in, if you're really, really stuck on a cloud key, head over to the Dragons and the Elves Facebook page, or even better, head over to the wiki page, the Dragons and the Elves wiki page, which I will put a link in below, and the uh, Morning Sanctuary event page is there for you to check out and details all the cloud keys and all the information that we've got here. So head over, check it out. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll uh, see you all again soon.